Well, one of the great amateur golf events is gearing up for yet another big week. It's the Concession Cup in Bradenton and match play tourney gets started on Thursday. But tonight is the opening celebration. Some very recognizable names are on hand and I'm sure you can see two of them right here. It's our Marissa Lynn with a somewhat recognizable <laughs> golf name. Hey, Marissa. I, hey, Scott, I think we can all say we know who this guy is. Jack Nil Nicholas, 18-time major champion, uh, here, the, one of the co-designers of the C Concession Golf Club. And like you said, Scott, uh, we are going to be talking about the concession tournament. It's one of the best amateur tournaments, if not the best, in, in amateur golf. And it, it was based off the idea of what happened in 1969, that Ryder Cup between... A long time ago. <laughs> it's a long time ago. Uh, but just talk a little bit about why this is such an important tournament for these amateur golfers. Well, I think that uh, it's uh, what Tony started it was a concession. And of course, the putt I gave him in the Ryder Cup was what it was all about. but. You know, it really wasn't that, that big a deal, but I guess it's turned into a big deal. And, and this whole golf course was based around that concession that I gave him. And then they came up with the idea of having an event and uh, having the, the best amateurs that never turned professional, and which is what, what they basically have here. They had a terrific event two years ago. They have another one here this year. They benefit several charities, of which our foundation is one of them, which is, which is very nice. And... Uh, so we're delighted to be here, delighted to uh, uh, be part of it, be the uh, honorary captains of, of the event, and uh, uh, they'll, I think they're going to do all right. You briefly talked about what happened in that 1969 Ryder Cup between you and Tony Jacklin. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of talked about it, you touched base on it uh, in the press conference. Would you have still done what you did in 1969 today? Oh, sure. I mean, what, what it was was Tony was the reigning British Open champion, uh, we were in the last match, and we were all even. And, the, and if we tied the hole, we tied the matches. If uh, and and the U.S. still retained the cup because we were defending champions. And if Tony wins the hole, obviously they the Britain wins. And if I win, we win. Well, anyway, uh, Tony put it. He he was away in the green. He put the ball up to about two feet or less, and uh, I ran it by about five feet, which I shouldn't have done, but I did. I was trying to win win the match. And then all of a sudden, I'm stuck with about a five five foot downhill slider, which I made. And I just reached down, picked up Tony's coin, and told him, "I said, you know, I don't think you'd ever miss that putt, but I wasn't going to give you the chance." Yeah. Britain hadn't had a, had a hero for a long time, and Tony was the hero, and so uh, I didn't want to take any chance of that. We were good friends, and the and frankly, the, the the matches are all about goodwill anyway, and that's what I thought we should do. Jack Nicholas, you are a good man. A, a idea just a, the one of the biggest names in golf thank you so much for joining us jack and uh, we'll send it back to you scott